Well, hello everyone. Hey, how's hey, it going guys. everyone? Oh, been a long time no see, wasn't mm, it? Mm. Right on. Uh, last time I think we um, filmed um, Slaughterhouse TV was... Uh, Ages it's, ago, it was still man. warm, I was still wearing shirts and Iron Maiden t shirt Yeah, summer. yeah, we were outside last time and it was summer. Yeah, now we're inside <laughs> and it's winter. <laughs> it's I'm the dead of winter. Because my ears are cold. There's like frost going on, icy windscreens, everything, so yeah. <laughs> couldn't open the car door the other day. Oh, no, I couldn't either. <laughs> Lots of stuff happened since last time we saw you or you saw us. Mm, mm. We went to the great um, rock festival in Wellington, New Zealand called Rock to Wellington and so a whole we bunch of... That, yeah. yeah, it's been We've that long. That, been that long. It's been that long. So <laughs> a whole bunch of really great rock stars and everything. Alice Cooper, Keith, Ozzy Osbourne, Poison, White Snake and Finnish Lordy. Right on. And that was really, really, really cool. Also, well, you know, we're in New Zealand here. We're in Auckland, New Zealand and um, shitloads of stuff is happening around. Uh, yeah, well, we did bands coming over. Yeah, yeah, and we did some local press. Uh, we were you know, getting the word out about Slaughterama and this show uh, in New Zealand um, by going on the Axe Attack with Paul Martin who is an awesome guy you know and he's been doing his show for 21 years now and uh, we also went on Rockzilla the old TV show and sort of um, talked about what we do there as well so uh, we're getting around in New Zealand but all of our international friends are still watching us and reading Slaughterama zine so thanks great hails to everyone who support us yeah anyway you were talking about Bands coming to our show. Bands coming, yeah, definitely. Um, Judas Priest are coming to New Zealand in September. I think mm. September 7th they're playing in Vector Arena. Um, Def Leppard coming in November. And between that, there's uh, Carcass. Uh, there's a oh, shitloads of bands, really. There's, yeah. I know the Dismember is coming over as well. Um, uh, I forgot that somebody else was there anyway. And just uh, the other night we went to see Children of Bottom playing in New Zealand as well. First time in New Zealand. Uh, great gig. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah. Awesome musicians. Really, cool really choice. cool. So great um, applause to the guys who invited um, them over, which were um, RW Entertainment. Yeah, and if you like uh, Children of Bodom, pick up a copy of the brand new Slaughter Armazine. It's got uh, an exclusive interview with Children of Bodom in it, uh, as well as a few other bands we'll talk about later. It is now, as you can see, a nice color, glossy cover, and uh, black and white glossy inside, and it's a big read. It will tell you really later about it. Yeah, we'll tell you a bit more as time goes on. But meanwhile, speaking of Children of Bodom, we're going to play a clip. Here we go. This is Every Time I Die.
Yeah. So there you go. That was uh, Children of Bodom with uh, Every Time I Die. Great stuff. The great band. They are awesome musicians. The new album Blood Drunk is out now. So go get yourself a copy. You know, feel good about yourself. Listen to some Children of Bodom. It's good for you. It will improve you. Excellent. Mm. So, well, we were speaking about Slaughterama magazine. I got to Oh, so, there we go. If you live in New Zealand, you can get Slaughterama on uh, trademe.co.nz. But uh, anywhere else in the world, no worries. You can still get it from ebay.com. Um, and, you know, I'll ship it anywhere in the world to you. So uh, Very, very cheap. Very, very cheap. It's yeah. Literally, I mean, just peanuts. It's six dollars and sixty-six, okay? Yeah, whether you live in New Zealand or overseas, it costs you six dollars and sixty-six. So, uh, nice cheap price for uh, so much stuff. And, Lots uh, of stuff in yeah. there. Well, we got, you know, I'll show you. We got some news here. Then, well, the Children of Bottom interview. There's more Children of Bottom. Then we got a big write-up on Man of War. Here we go. Man of War kill. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, also, what do we got here? The Saxon, some gig advertisements. There's an interview with uh, Beef Byford of Saxon. Beautiful, great guy, absolutely awesome band. Uh, great interview as well. Cool. Uh, Black Tide, here we go. The new band from. Oh, can't really see it, can you? Here we go, you can see it now. Black Tide, the new band from uh, America. The young guys, they're all quite young, and we got the interview with them as well. And also some giveaways, although admittedly you only got a few days left to enter so yeah but it's up. to anyone so yeah 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 so buy the zine and enter the competition absolutely yeah also uh the dvd reviews uh, some uh, album reviews some more advertisement and nestradamus the judas priest album is out now go get yourself a copy of that as well uh interview with the new zealand band, band nord that's lovely here we go <laughs> gotta, gotta support your local you know <laughs> Listen to New Zealand music is good for you. And uh, Brandon wrote us wrote us some uh, uh, wrote us some stuff about the Flame Wars on the internet. Yeah, I mean, anyone that's been part of a forum, <laughs> if you've been part of a forum, you'll know about Flame Wars. And uh, so yeah, there's an article about that in there, and I'm sure you'll find it uh, amusing or interesting, or offensive. Yeah. Or all of the above. So uh, yeah, get into that. And yeah, speaking of Saxon, who's the second uh, band that we? Oh uh, yeah, present? wait a second, wait a second. Yeah. Meanwhile, if you want to rip this little bastard up, we also got a poster of Dio on the back. That's also good for you. you can put it on and the he's, wall. He's doing show the, it to your girlfriend. The, the he's sign that. that he invented on yes. there as well. Just make no mistake. <laughs> he invented it, not Gene Simmons. <laughs> he invented it. All right. So there you go, that's Ronnie James Dio on the back of the beautiful Slaughter Hour magazine. So get yourself a copy, it will improve you, it's good for you. Yeah. And, and speaking um, of sex, 